They're going to look at it to see if it was a two or a three. No question it was good, though, but they also may have to check. He did get it off, but they may, yeah, go, they they may check that as well. Certainly looked like he got it off. Watch the uh, backboard in the light. Yep, yep, no question. I was looking at both. Nice inside-out pass. They pried a little bit. Samuels made a good decision. It would have been a three last year. Huh? Not this year. Extra fun. I don't think Rick Pitino cares right now whether it was two oh, or three. No, no, you know, no. he just, he's glad they milked the clock and then the, the junior with the big jumper. And the ability of Samuels to be patient and kick it out. That's tough for a young guy. You might panic in that situation. Quick hitters now, Sean. Pittsburgh, 40 seconds to go, down by six. Can they retain their poise? Young, a deep three. Walk. Yep, that's the call as two Cardinals were there. Great effort by Samuels and Williams, but they walked. It's interesting now is even if Pitt scores, they're not a full court pressing team. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have to be really, really alert. They're likely foul quickly. And the mediocre Louisville foul shooting team. Young missed the three. Whoa, looked out, Smith, swinging arms. Trying to give it, they don't get it. Sosa juggles. Well, they need a foul. Yeah, they finally were... Fields does. I think they were trying, look at these guys. <laughs> oh, they were, I think they were trying on the rebound to give the foul, and he got free. How about the perseverance? And Jamie, looking on, knows the reality setting in. No quit in these guys here. So sad the line. Two out of three today. Seventy-two percent for the year. They got and a good, oh, oh, huge oh, break oh, for oh, Pittsburgh as Clark went over the back. You know, John, we don't need it. Rick Pitino says they go to the other end without the clock moving. And John, I'm thinking John Cheney used to move everybody out of there for that reason. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness, nothing moves. You know, I, chance I, for two, you get your press set up, and and, the, and I, I would do the same thing. The other train of thought is if you take those guys off the line mentally, your free throw shooter relaxes, but it's not worth this. Two shots for Biggs. It's the double bonus. He makes the first. He's 64 percent for the year coming in. 14 out of 22. Not a lot of attempts for the senior. First year starter. And like a typical Pittsburgh player, much improved. Uh, Jimmy going small if he makes the free throw just to get more people in the press situation. So with that in mind, he brings Gilbert Brown in, takes Blair out, so Blair won't get his fifth foul. 18 seconds to go. Four point game. Louisville was celebrating a moment ago, hugging as if they had won the game. It is not over yet. Got to give the foul right on the catch. Yep. And they do. Samuel's foul. So he'll go to the other end. He's 70% for the year entering the ball game. Tyrell Biggs is fouled out, but he didn't have a choice. He had to foul Samuels. He's two for two from the line tonight. 64-60, uh, just about what we thought. You guys had a, a waltz on Monday night with, with Notre Dame and Louisville, the free-flowing game, not tonight. Well, everything's hard fought with these two. I mean, you don't get an easy basket. They're right up in your suit, as they might say. Uh, just attacking, very aggressive. One in the half court, the other all over at key spots on the floor. Pittsburgh's run. Atop the polls for the first time in their 101 year history in danger of ending, at least for now, after two weeks. They had risen to number two in the rankings 16 times over the years, never number one until two weeks ago. In jeopardy now, but still 16.6 to go. Two shots for Samuels, both teams in the double bonus. And if Pittsburgh goes down, Duke or Wake Forest likely to ascend the number one. My vote would be for Wake Forest. Mm -hmm. I agree. They're playing. So is Duke playing great. Jay had their game last week. Was the Florida State, Sean? Uh, so impressive, too. I think they'll move up, to be honest with them. Wake comes to two, if that's the case. And at this time of year, it doesn't really matter no, anymore. No. 
that's great that's for what the Jamie city. Jamie Dixon has said. It's nice to be number one, but at this time of the year, it doesn't mean much. They throw it deep. Brown rescued it. Blair. Oh, and one, oh, and one. Why would you do that if you're Louisville? The pass itself almost was a turnover by Pitt. They just let him score in this situation. That's not how Jamie Dixon drew it up. No, and what a <laughs> save when you think of it. He threw it right at his basket. What a great decision. And Jerry Smith fouls out. And then he grabs the arm of Blair. Veteran player junior, Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. He should know better than that. That is two terrible fouls by Louisville trying to protect the lead in the final seconds. One by Clark going for an offensive rebound, and now by Smith when he should have just let Blair go. One possession game, he makes the free throw. They get their pressure set up. I'm sure they'll take Blair out again if he's able to convert. And you've got a couple guys on Louisville that are not great foul shooters. Mm -hmm. Williams about 61 percent. First free throw of the night. He has come in making 10 of his last 13 over the last two games. Hi Archer. And it is a one possession game. 14.6 to go. They'll take Blair out again with the four foul. Looks like a zone. They may try and trap once. Clark trying to get it in. Gets it to Sosa. Hit immediately by Wanamaker. Only 1.4 came off the clock there. 64% shooter, Sean. College game day driven by State Farm coming your way next. They'll take you up to the conclusion of this blockbuster Saturday that's lived up to the billing Miami and North Carolina at 9 Eastern time. A small thing yesterday at practice, Rick Patino worked on getting the ball inbounds versus this kind of pressure. Surprised Blair hasn't come back in with Sosa at the line. Uh, yeah, well, I'm sure it may, it's a two-shot foul, so we can get him in right now. Tommy Harrion may be yeah, telling him exactly. Oh, they, it looks they may call a timeout. There he is. You got to get him in quick. Yeah, yeah they waited. In an fact, you should time. get him in now. Lucky to get him in. Yeah, there Tom, you go. Tommy was saying maybe you're the waste one to get him in. Oh, well, that's going to help them. One of the great assistants in the country, Tommy Harrion. On the staff right there behind Jamie Dixon, head coach at College of Charleston. And only won about 75% of his games yeah, there. Yeah, that's a tough job when that doesn't get it done. <laughs> uh, right now you got your speed dribble and you don't want, want to foul if you move. They'll keep everybody in front of you. What uh, a tough pass. Not, not what you want and then Blair's out. So Blair fouls out. He had to commit the foul. Jamie Dixon looked at Sam Young and he would say, of all the choices inbounding, why that one? Yeah. So he fouls out with nine points. First time Blair has fouled out this year. Mm. When you think of it, they had a lot of minutes tonight without him. And they're right there. So he is a, uh, a obviously the key performer for this team, but he's got to play at least that first half of one at the most. And I think that's why they subbed early in the game for him. Give it a few minutes of a blow. And what I like about what Louisville did, and it, and it speaks to the foul trouble, was they were the aggressor with the press, going inside, attacking, and it certainly paid off. And Samuel's dragging, excuse me, Sean, and then the kick out for Clark to knock it down. I think back to our pregame conversation with Rick Pitino, we asked him what he thought was important tonight. He said, well, I think they'll try to get Samuels in foul trouble, and we'll try to get Blair in foul trouble. Mm -hmm. That was goal number one for Rick Pitino, and that was the key to the game. When Blair went to the bench, the game changed both in the first half and in the second. And Blair caused the problem for himself a few times with his reach in. If you remember, not really elevating, getting the hands big. McGee, the free throw, six point game. 10 seconds to go. Fields deflected by Sosa. Williams, that call for a travel with five to go. People get excited. They don't know the rule, you know? You go down, it's a walk. You get up, it's a walk. Young trying to pump fake again. Fired it off the back of the basket. And we are down to one undefeated team in the country in Division One, and it is Wake Forest. 
And you got a Louisville, Louisville team. Louisville has won five in a row, the last three over ranked opponents. Only Louisville and Marquette still undefeated now in Big East play. And Terrence Williams Great job. and his mates to celebrate said it. Louisville's first win over a number one team since 2003. Pretty good, huh? Well, they executed the plan. They did. They absolutely did. I mean, they got them in a rush situation, had them cough it up. A lot of mistakes uh, in the half court by a terrific half court team, Pittsburgh, all because of defense. Final score, Louisville 69, Pittsburgh 63. College game day presented by State Farm is coming up next. Now for Bill Raftery, Fran Fischilda, Sean McDonough saying...